First, I'm actually posting a very critical video on something that many DS 3DS players had problems with, including myself. I worked it quite hard to try to figure out how to solve this situation, and I finally found the clue. Well, I found the situation, actually. And the solution was, you need to be required to have two DS's. And this is for the 4DS card. As you can see, I too also have the update. Yeah. Try not to cover that up. I also have the update right there, as you can see, the 4.01, which has messed up my SD card right here. This right here. As you can see. Yes, and that's the new one. And I wasn't able to play my ROMs for a while. So after I've seen many people has posted videos on help and how they need to get it fixed, I decided to do my research and try to fix it. And I finally found the solution. You at least require to have two DS Nintendo systems in order for this to work. As you can see, I have a DS Lite. You can have any type of DS. It doesn't matter. You have a DS XL, Lite, regular DS, as long as you have two. What you'll be doing is you'll be taking out your ROM. And you'll be taking out your SD card. Uh, best thing I could tell you to do, what I did was, like, literally what I did was formatted everything. I took out my ROMs and everything. Any save data that I wanted to keep, cheat codes and all that stuff that I put, customly put in, I took all that out. And then I customized, and then I formatted it. You could do either format it a special way or just do the old fashioned way through the computer. And then after you do that, you go ahead and go back to the R4 deal website, which you can re download the kernel from, which is right over here. As you can see, this is where I re downloaded it. Download the English version and download the update since they have now came up with an update. You can't do it if you download the update now and then try to do it through your 3DS, it's not going to work because they're going to block you. You have to have another 3DS, that's where that comes in. Once you reformat it, put the kernel back on, or you can leave your own kernel, it doesn't matter. And you put the update inside there, you're going to transfer it back into the SD card. Put it back in there. Mm. And then, voila. You're going to turn that on. You, uh, you should be still having the SpongeBob picture. But if you don't have the SpongeBob picture, that means you probably might want to reformat and do it just the way I told you. When you log on, it's going to pull up from the older version of the DS. You're going to go to your ROMs and go to the update. Once you update it and it's done and gone through, you'll be able to play it back on your 3DS. I don't know if this video is too late for some people, but hopefully it works out. Once you have done it, you'll know when you have done it correctly because the icon will change. You will not have the same icon. Because mm. my icon has changed. Instead of having a SpongeBob, instead I got this right here. Some Metroid Mine, Metroid Mine Prime. So the icon changes and everything. And of course, if you've done it correctly, you'll be able to play it. And voila, as you can see, it is on. I have not added my ROMs because I have just figured this out, like just now. So this is how it's done. As you can see, everything's been fixed. Calendar, ROMs, everything. You can click on it. And that's my folder for my ROMs once I add them in there. Everything's there.
All right. Hopefully this video is very useful and it solves a lot of people's problems with their DS. Like I said, you need two DSs, borrow one from a friend or whatever, but you got to have two DSs for this to work for the new firmware that just came out. Other than that, good luck and happy gaming.